In this second part recording, we will show how to perform the steel design and optimization of the 3D frame using STIL. Please note this is a continuation of the previous recording, part 1, where we model and analyze 3D frame using S-Frame. And here is our S-Frame model. As you may remember, we have defined some section properties, also some support conditions. If we go to the loads window, we just have one dead load case, no gravity included. And we can see our area load defined here. We also run a linear static analysis and we had access to some of the results like deflections, shear forces, diagrams, effort moment, among others. Once you're happy with your results, you can go to STL to perform a design of these sections. You can click this icon here or just go run STL. And STL will open very similar with a very similar interface as S-Frame. You will need to select your whole model. You can also check some of the parameters of these sections like effective length, factors, steel grades, type of connection, some negligible forces as well. And if you right click in this tool, you will see further options. If you would like to account for torsion checks, slenderness, etc. Of course, remember if I go to options design code I'm working with the euro codes so I'm gonna perform a design according to the euro codes if I go to code check with all these sections selected you just need to select your load cases and load combination of interest in this case there's only one and I just click OK and here are the utilization ratios so everything that is above one is failing meaning the demand is bigger than the capacity all my beams seems to be failing and even my columns they have a low code utilization value also these members can be optimized you can access to reports if you go to file print key results and you click OK you will see a summary of these sections for the governing load cases per group uh, the governing load case, the governing class, and if it's passing or failing. You can see according to the different checks why it's failing in this case for due to slenderness. If you go page down on your keyboard you can see the other members and at the end you will see a summary of quantities where you can access the length, the turn lengths, the weight. And you can print these reports into a PDF, fo PDF format to share with your colleagues or clients. I'm going to close this. Now what I'm going to do is optimize some of my sections. If we go to the design inputs window, we'll see I have just two group sections, section 1 and section 2. In this case, I'm going to select just my bin sections. Since I don't have any folders created for all the all the beams, I can just click in my column folder, the one I created before and if I go to select invert selection I will select all my beam elements that's one way to select all your beams you can also create a folder call it beams and update this folder once you select all your beams you just need to update it and every time you go there oops looks like I updated the columns folder let's just change this name and um, we can change this later on if you like so I'm just changing the name here this will be my columns but we are not working with the columns right now we will be focusing on the beams if you have all your beam elements selected you can define a subset of sections to study to be taken into consideration for the optimization you just need to select the type of section you would like to, like to take into consideration you can change the name you can say these are the beams and here are all the sections I'm considering. You can further filter this if you go to min max. Uh, this is an I type section. And right now is considering 53 sections, but you can filter this even more. Maybe the architect said that section shouldn't be greater than 
600 millimeters in depth. Just need to click filter and my sections get updated. Those sections bigger than 600 are not taken into consideration. So I just click OK. Click OK once again and perform a code check for these new sections. And here I can see if I hide the unselected objects. I can see S frame came with this solution since all these beams are part of the same section group is assigning the same steel section for each member which is an IPE 300A and you can see the utilization ratios right now I'm showing one near the limit demand versus capacity but you can create a group folder for lower level of beams and change it let me show you this you can access view uh, maybe you can show this image in the report just need to add a name these are all beams optimized and you can add a description if you like just need to add it click OK and now if I go to file print key results I can add a picture I just need to go there and include it in my report if I click OK and OK once again I can zoom in this report and here you go your report very similar to the previous one but in this case nothing is failing everything is having a passing, passing check if I click close I can also print all the code details for all the members so here are the results for every member the section that I selected once in S-Frame the one I, I tried first and this is the suggestion according to all the checks from the European codes. You can click here to access further details and see all the checks if they are required, the different clauses that you can verify using the design code. If I click close you can other way to access reports if, if you would like to see for example this member in particular you just right click go to code details and you can see a list of admissible sections and inadmissible sections from the whole set I defined before. All these sections are allowed, are going to have a passing check for this member according to the design code. And you can also see the inadmissible sections. In this case, I'm interested in the 300A, which is this one, access the code details for this member 18. You can see it here. Once you optimize all your sections, you can go back to S-Frame. You can say yes, save a new model. And this is going to create a new S-Frame file. Let me select all. And now if you notice, you can go to section properties. And you will see these sections updated. And you can run another analysis and go to STL and continue this process until you find the right sections according to your requirements. Thank you for watching and for more tutorials and videos please subscribe to our YouTube channel.